Drew here, Frisco Tennis Shop. As that temperature gets lower and lower here in the winter time, it doesn't mean we can't play tennis, but it does mean we need to adjust our tennis equipment accordingly. In this video, I'm just gonna give three tips on things I do and things you can do too to help ensure your tennis game helps keep pace with the lower and lower temperatures here in, in the winter time. Uh, here in the Southern US, uh, you, tennis is pretty much a 12 month a year sport. But, but there's nights I've played where Fahrenheit, it's in the low 40s, 30s. I've even had times where I've played where it's below freezing. Uh, that can definitely create some issues. Uh, so I want to give three brief tips on what we can do to help ensure our tennis game stays great even as those temperatures get lower and lower. When you play tennis in the cold climate, there's a few things that you'll notice. One, the ball's not gonna bounce as high. So the game's gonna be a little bit slower. You're not gonna hit like you do in the summertime with those, um, the ball with those high bounces. So it's gonna be a little bit of a slower game with that ball not as powerful, not as quick. Uh, another thing you'll notice, everything gets a little bit stiffer in the, uh, the winter time. So you'll notice a little bit stiffness in your arms, stiffness in the strings. So I just wanna give three brief tips on what you can do to help ensure your tennis game uh, stays great even as those temperatures get lower. The first thing you can do to help ensure you're playing great tennis is to change your strings. Uh, those of us who play with a polyester string, I actually have a kind of a fun hybrid uh, I did, but both of these are polyester strings. As the temperature gets lower, I'm gonna switch to multi-filament strings. Uh, sometimes I'll do a multi-filament main with a, a softer poly cross, uh, but I'm gonna switch to softer strings. If I know the temperature is gonna be in the low 40s, upper 30s. I, I don't want any arm issues with the strings. I'm going to sacrifice a little bit for spin, but that's okay because I want a really soft string bed. So one thing you can do with your tennis game, swift to a, switch to a softer string. If you're a poly user, try using the, a main with a softer string or maybe even go to a full bed of a synthetic gut, a nylon multi-filament, or if you can afford it, a natural gut. Natural gut, you got, got to be a little bit careful in colder climates because it can be very delicate and that can run up uh, <laughs> that can cost you a little bit but definitely switching to a softer string is a great thing you can do to help ensure those stiff strings don't affect your playability like they like they can in the winter time a second thing you can do in the winter time when that temperature gets lower is to lower your pounds attention uh, if you string say in the upper 50s uh, normally uh, with your racket bed try going to the lower 50s or mid 50s because that ball is going to bounce lower you're going to want a softer string bed because everything's going to be real tight real stiff in that really cold climate so try to lower that tension a little bit to help soften that string bed as much as you can because in that cold climate the strings are going to be stiff everything's going to play tight so you're going to want to lower the pounds as much as you can to help create a very soft string bed as much as possible i'll normally string in the mid 50s but in the winter time i'll go lower 50s upper 40s for a lot of my stringing. Uh, you kind of have to gauge what the temperature is gonna be. You have to gauge what's best for your game. Tennis is a very subjective sport with equipment choices, but definitely when it gets really cold, lowering the pounds of tension can be a great way to soften up that string bed. And a third thing you can do when that temperature gets really cold, this one isn't related to strings. This one's actually more related to grip. I normally play with just a simple Wilson Pro over grip. It's real simple, keeps that grip nice and uh, tacky and I can uh, grip it really well. What I do when I know it's going to be really cold is I'll actually put on a textured overgrip uh, like I have here. It builds up the grip a little bit, so just be careful there, but it's going to create a much softer overgrip uh, that way. So when I'm playing cold, everything's <laughs> brittle, everything's kind of tight. Uh, this soft overgrip is really going to help the playability, help my hands uh, a bit. Like I said, it builds up the grip a little bit, but playing with a softer grip when it's cold out can, uh, can definitely be a, a great idea uh, to help improve your tennis game. Here in the southern U.S., tennis is a 12-month a year sport. Definitely days, though, in December, January, February, it gets very cold. You have to put on a lot of layers, but once you go out there and start moving, it's not too bad. But you just want to make sure you adjust your equipment accordingly by using a softer string, lowering the pounds, and changing that overgrip to help uh, with your hands when it's really cold outside. Those are just three very simple ways you can make sure you still play great tennis even as that temperature gets lower and lower in the wintertime. This has been Drew from Frisco Tennis Shop, and I hope to talk soon.